Hey girls and guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at the surface of this little desk and we start upper left corner there is the pre section everything you need high pass filter, noise gate, compressor and the panorama. On the other side of the screen there is the 3-band DQ, 4-band DQ, sorry, with frequency gain uh, and the four buttons for the frequency bands, low frequency, low mid, high mid, high frequency and the talkback. On the far right corner there's this stereo in which is a uh, mini um, jack there beneath that there is the headphone jack and the graphic EQ uh, can be switched on with that little button there. So on the other hand there are just uh, six soft buttons which can be assigned to things like tap tempo which I've done over there and mute for muting groups, muting effects and you can do, do such neat things as um, starting the next scene, starting the stereo track, starting multi-track recording and so on and so forth. Okay, and the funny things are the buttons on the side on the right and on the left hand side. So let's begin over there. So very very simple, much easier than on the X32, the board that I had before I think. Um, so you start with the main left and what happens if you click on that button? Nothing because we are already on the main layer. So mix one, you can see, is for my monitor one which is mono at the moment, um, mix 2, mix 3, mix 4. The next ones are by default stereo uh, mixes, so I've got nothing there and the bottom row is for the groups, group 1, 2, 3, 4 and which is corresponding to group 9, 10, 11, 12. On the other side, funny things very very good and clever things. View! The view button does something like if you press the view button you can see on which input uh, uh, the channel is assigned to. So this is if you see um, for example the bass guitar is on input 5 and currently it's a USB input. So uh, beneath that uh, if you press the assign button, let's say I want to know where the bass is assigned to. I go to the bass channel, tack, and then I'll hit channel to all mix and I see, I can see very quickly, ah, it's on the groups, it's on aux 1, 2, 3, 4 and it's not on the effects layer. So if we go to the snare for example and hit channel to all mix as again I can see ah yeah it's on the second effects which is a um, I think it's a slapback something or a short delay or a short I think it's a short reverb and I can see it's on um, aux number four which is the monitor wedge for our drummer so copy paste reset very easy and uh, you can assign uh, six custom layers called A, B, C, D, E, F and um, at the moment it's uh, just like the, uh, how the desk comes out of the box and nothing special there at the moment. The last one is not assigned ha. and I'll show you in the next video how easy and what a fun part it is to assign channels to a fader layer. Bye bye!